The first step in every environmental law, and safe drinking water is no different, the first thing they do is they try and figure out, the scientists look, before the lawyers and regulators, the scientists look and say, what's the maximum level you can have of this contaminant in water that won't cause harm? Think about that. Isn't that the least we should expect of water that mm -hmm. we're told to drink a lot of, that it won't harm us? So that's the first step. Here's the maximum contaminant level goal. That's the goal. That's the level in California. It's, it's the public health goal. This is the level that won't hurt you. Every environmental law has that step. It's one of the big victories of environmentalism is we require data collection and scientific appraisal. Then there's always a second step where law, economics, cost effectiveness come into play. So you have a level. I'll give you the example of hexavalent chromium, the Aaron Brockovich chemical, no less. This is a chemical so famous it won an Oscar. The level that was set for what people thought was safe was 0.02 parts per billion, right? That's what the scientists said. At that level, it won't hurt you in water. Thank you. Thank you. My water won't hurt me. Woohoo. Is that if you're having one glass a day? I mean, think about the quantity per That's toddler, nice. per pregnant woman. I mean, it, That's it, over the lifetime, but yeah, and presumably it reflects the fact that no, the dose doesn't necessarily make the poison. Sometimes it's the person, how old they are, how sensitive they mm -hmm. are. The dose makes the poison made sense when the guy who said that phrase was born. Anyway, so then they set the legal limit. Then they start going, then the water utilities say, well, if you set it down at that level, I'm going to have to add filtration. I'm going to have to add new sources. I'm going to have to dilute it. It's going to cost a lot of money. And the polluters who put it in the water in many cases to begin with are saying, yeah, they make a good point. It's going to be expensive to fix it. So what do they do? They take the level that's safe and then they add a five time factor. And that's the level that's legal. Right. So all of the communities in between are going to be drinking water that's officially not safe, but it's legal.